Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I'm Robin and today we have a bit of up potting and seed sowing to do. Um, I really should be pulling weeds but um, the wind is really bad today and also I'm just feeling a little bit low energy. Uh, I'm just in a little bit of physical recovery from uh, from garden work but also just just because and um, my fibro is kind of kicking up so we're gonna do low-key things like sow seeds uh, do the asparagus we're gonna do um, papaya babies that'll be first so oh, I don't know we'll just get into a bunch of stuff so stay with me I only had um, one seedling pop up out of this tray of course this was the tray number one where we used mostly old seed and so all that went into uh, a little hole I'm trying to fill over by the house. And then I broke open a brand new bag of Miracle Grow moisture control. And I have to say the quality of this is way better than it's been the past two years. I think they may have heard our complaints. <laughs> and um, I have to say this is pretty nice, really. Oh, couldn't be happier with that. And I um, can't say I found it on sale, but what I got a little shrinkflation. So instead of two cubic yards, I got uh, 50 quarts, which a, a two cubic yards is supposed to be 59 quarts. So you you pay a little bit less, but you get a little bit less. But that's okay. I'm just I'm just paying it <laughs> uh, because uh, you know I don't want to go through that again with the jungle growth. So. A couple of weeks ago, let's get on to our project. On um, January 13th of 20, oh no, that says 23. I'm sure I meant to say 24. Um, I put some papaya seeds in here. Now, you cannot grow papayas from dried papaya seed that I know of. Um, the best thing to do is find a fresh papaya, pop it open. You find those little things that look like frog eggs, you know, the seeds, and you pop them in dirt and you lightly cover them. And now it's been... A little over a month later I saw I had one or two starting but I didn't bring the put the camera on it until I had more and now I have a whole thing full of baby papayas but they're not gonna go anywhere fast unless I up pot them and so I thought I would um, give them their own little space in this tray at least you know I don't know a dozen or two of them <laughs> I don't know how many I need, but um, I thought I would go ahead and up pot these little papayas. This is Caribbean red papaya. And I don't know if it, it's self-fertile, so I'm not sure if this will actually create another Caribbean red like the parent or if this will be something, you know, like a, a different but similar. I don't know. But anyhow, I thought we would just go ahead and try to do our best to get them into individual little seedling things and let them start growing up and then I'll have to up pot them again later. I've never done this before with papayas but I've done it with other things so we're just gonna lightly wiggle. Loose, let's loosen that up. Maybe they sent a long taproot down. They don't want to come easily. Oh goodness. This is holy smokes look at the taproot on those okay yeah oh look at them all oh you guys can't see anything hold on you're missing the fun look at them all oh that's pretty cool okay let's you know what this might not be deep enough if i take one of these and i put it along here all the way to the bottom hmm okay these um, seedling cells are just a little bit bigger and just minutely longer so okay let's go ahead and see we have our baby I'll do the first few in front of you let's see I need a something to poke with poke down okay that'll work look at there Let's do another one or two. I hope you guys can see okay. We're in the shade. Oh, this is pretty easy once you get going. Okay. Get down there. Oh, my gosh. 
I could give all of my subscribers a papaya baby. <laughs> I have so many papayas. Can I still see? Okay, yeah, your stone frame. One thing's for sure, they won't all last if they just stay in this uh, tray or, or cup. Yeah, they won't make it. Okay, wow, that's going fast. It's easier than I thought. I might get a couple jobs done today. I could stand up pot a few other things. Like those little snapdragons, they need to go up too. We can always add more dirt later. I'm, I'm amazed at how long this little stem system was. Maybe I buried them a little too deep underneath the seeds, you know, like underneath my soil. Probably should have done more of a surface so. All right, I'll be back to you guys when I'm done with this. Okay, first tray down. Second thing I want to do is my early Potomac Sunrise mix. Snapdragons are doing fantastic. Ooh, I don't think that's a snapdragon right there. But I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. This one should stay in a little bit longer. So I germinated these um, for three weeks in my bay window in the front and uh, or a picture window really not a bay window anymore and uh, they were so scraggly and then i put them in here and i really didn't think snapdragons take an infinite long time i think to get going up and going but i don't know how but they did seem to survive and they're about an inch or so high on the tallest ones um, some of these little ones are only about a half inch, but uh, I have this really cool tray over here Now this is a little bit bigger. I must have bought. I can't remember what I bought in these uh, maybe the Kalanchoes or Something like that. But anyhow, they have fresh pot, Potting soil in them. There we go. I'm making a little divot with my fingers just a couple fingers in there now we're going to come back over here. We're going to see if we can snag up the biggest six of these. It is look at the root systems looking really good on those. Yeah, it's very windy today. Oh, there we go. Let's just keep doing it till we fit, fill all six up. yeah let's see if i can get you seeing both things at the same time not just one awesome here we go i'm really not disturbing them at all if possible i'm just literally taking the whole root and dirt and plant everything together as much as possible and just laying it on top and then they have Quite a bit of space to, you know, spread out. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's next two biggest. Sorry for my arm, right in the way. There we go. I don't know about. This one can pretty much just lay on top. I have one more. Hmm. Technically two. I may be, may be able to get... Hold on a second. Oh, great. I have a solution. So this is the little pot that they were started in in the house. And it looks like I had one make it. 
uh yeah i was thinking maybe there was one over there but look at that one that one has made it out here on the growing table completely ignored so i shall grab this other one over here and i'm gonna put them together they can kind of come up together like twins in the pot there we go that won't hurt them and i still have this itty bitty bitty one right here and this i think is a weed it looks strong but i've seen that leaf shape before and i don't think i d i can leave it there but i don't think it's a snapdragon at all i have this teeny tiny one right here i may go ahead and just throw it over to the side right here and see see if it'll grow up with these other is that one or two I can't, it might be that might be two no they're together okay so we'll have two little bitty ones if I have to I'll separate those as they get bigger and then we'll just take their tray so those are started December 20th of 2023 like I said in the house for about three weeks and now they are ready to be up potted and um, hopefully that'll stimulate them to grow a little bit quicker before spring gets too far uh, you know I would wish I had them you know a good foot tall but I don't think that's gonna happen it's my first time with snapdragons successfully I I've tried them a couple other times and just didn't know really what to do but now we have YouTube to search and and see the best ways so we're we're doing pretty good for a first time we're here on the snapdragons So um, I do have this tray of mixed peppers and lettuce and some flowers in it and um, I think because these are sitting in the soil I don't like, um, I'm going to take these cubanelles out, give them a better chance somewhere else. They look like they're going nowhere fast here and then I'm also going to take these California California wonder babies out of this tray these are really really good jobs to get done today because it's really too windy to be out there in the food forest and um, let me move this so you can see and so this is a perfect little chore here in the safe area so these are my cubanelles oh, let's see where's the divider okay right there so I keep those separate and my California Wonders now didn't come out very easily, so they're kind of like naked roots. Maybe in some odd way that'll benefit them to not have brought that soil over with them. Okay, perfect. I still have a space for like one more. Oh, I should center that better. That was not centered. Yeah. I still have a space for one more thing. Let's see if there's anything else on the in those trays that I can get out. Okay, I have this little purple zinnia. I did have a lot germinate, but then they got cooked. And this is my only little survivor that didn't get cooked on those 80 degree days in January. Oh my. So um, anyhow, it's a survivor. I'm gonna put all these here and keep an eye on them. Uh, while they're starting to um, put on some actual growth and roots. Okay, I can empty out another tray if I just get these lettuces up potted. 
they could go in the big garden but the big garden has a lot of weeds and I don't want them to um, to get lost out there before I weed again so this is Vulcan lettuce this oh no that's something different hold on this is Marve de Quatre lettuce it's beautiful got the little orange uh, rust bronzing to uh, that there's actually two in there should I separate them I should separate them okay leave the big one over here I'll put the other one over here just give them a little bit of their own space Less, lettuce doesn't really need a lot of their own space but a little bit would be good now well, oh this is Waldman's. Uh, this is Waldman's lettuce, dark green. And I really, really like this lettuce too. All, all of these are pretty good. Um, I bought this seed maybe two years ago. I think there's, yeah, oh my, there's three babies in here. Oh. flying across the yard okay uh, that's we have a big front that's a, coming in in a couple hours and so we're expected a good bit of rain by uh, well clouds by four and rain by seven I think okay so over here is my iron cherry stock this is I'm a first timer with this so go gently with me I don't know that this is a good climate for stock being in Florida, but my goal was to get them going and perhaps keep them in the shade garden. And uh, I'll put a little picture up of what iron cherry stock looks like. I'm just surprised I even got any germination. That's awesome. Only two, but still, considering the weird year we were having, this is awesome. All right, there they can get all the rain they need tonight. And let me show you over here. Uh, my papaya fills about two thirds of this tray. Rosemary, snapdragons, and more snapdragons. So I'm, pr I'm pretty happy about that. I still have this. I think I'm gonna go find some seed in the house and go um, perhaps, I don't know, hold tight. So I was looking at these asparagus also on my grow table and I was like, oh, I really need to do something with these. And I don't think I've really ever up potted them much once they get to this, you know, about three inch. So sometimes I've let them get up to five, six inches, but when they get about this big, look at the root system on them. I know you can see that. That's incredible roots. That's what they're made to do, right? Go down, down, down the first two, three years and develop a really good crown this is called a crown right in here this area so uh, and the ferns are just doing cute ferny things right you don't pick and harvest anything for the first uh you know usually about three years on your asparagus so these are the u f 157 hybrid did i get that right or is it the uc I, it's such a long name I can't get it but anyhow this is my bed and you guys probably have seen it a million times but we're gonna go ahead and expand on it a lot of the oldest crowns are in here this is where the parents and the seed came from and then I have all sorts of them in here um, this is probably last year's and I have a good one back there. They haven't popped up yet, which is nice. So it's still good enough time to transplant. Here's one down here. Yeah, these are just old. You can take those out. So I'm just going to take my dibbler. If you don't know what that's called, that's a dibbler. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just get these babies dibbled. <laughs> no, put into the ground. I don't know what to call that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, and um, UC157F2. Okay, I did have a tag in there. It's UC, not UF. Sorry about that. 
and wow 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 each one of these look at the root system on this one before it's even got a fern it's got this massive root system oh these each one of these comes with beautiful roots okay let's not mess this up robin it's easy to get them lost in here with this i'm going to pull back the straw and i'm just going to dibble 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 we're going to dibble and drop how about that look at that beautiful roots now we just got to get them in the hole okay dibble and drop let's do this one again even this one's only just a sprout we're going to put it in okay can't even see that you'll have to you know make it on its own okay dibble and drop I want to take the mystery out of asparagus for you Floridians look at that root system Whew. excellent that should make a really strong plant and that'll be the baby crown down there okay get them in There's one right here. So we just keep going. We'll pull them out of the side. These are beautiful. Okay, y'all, I don't want to bore you. So I'll come back when I'm done, okay? Well, y'all, I must have put in 15 to 20 over there and I was kind of running out of space. Perhaps I need to expand my asparagus bed next year. But for right now, I can be growing these up in these little pots. These are the pots that my ever-bearing strawberries came in. I should show you how they're doing because I'm getting um, blooms and uh, baby strawberries so far. And I haven't been able to pick yet. But I'm just, I'm doubling them up because I don't want to use a whole lot more pots. Two should be good. Uh, I don't know if you can see that really well, but there's essentially where the seed was, and that's going to be the crown, and of course the roots. But that little knobby right there is going to be the crown. Eventually, when it becomes a big plant. Wow, this wind is really kicking. Kicking out big time. I don't, I, I'm gonna put that in there. I think that's gonna grow. It's just not looking fully developed yet. These things were very crowded in their cup. All right, you guys. Well, I got kind of busy with the camera off and, uh, and I'm not done yet, but I went ahead um, I potted these little asparagus. Uh, I don't know if I don't know what I'll do with them. I may keep them. I may expand the bed. I may give these away to friends. Uh, I also uh, potted some little uh, immokalee tomatoes um, just to gift away. I already have what I need for the garden, but um, I don't know why. I just I can't throw seeds into the garbage can. Can you guys? <laughs> so I went in the house and I looked and I um, had lemon sun yellow squash the little discs benning's green tint uh, squash sorry about buddy uh, i had fat roselle or sorrel from texas there's a lady from Na nancy from texas who sent me those but i think she was on facebook so i put a bunch of those out chocolate sunflowers dwarf um those little teddy bear sunflowers um, Jojo, if you're watching, I don't know if she watches every video, but she uh, lives near me and sent me apple melon seeds last year. So I did uh, 11 of those, plus probably some duplicates accidentally. I did sugar baby mel melons, watermelons, uh, because I just don't know where to put everything, but I'm going to try to put something somewhere. Uh, and then two rows of 
my regular roselle from baker creek originally um and so one rose probably for me and one rose to give away and so that's it for now i know i want to run in the house at some point and find the pink sunday salvia and put a couple rows of that out there maybe go find some more stock uh seed but um that required more digging than i was willing to give at this point so you guys we've got this we've got our babies over here um whoo those little papayas are like so super thirsty uh they were like the sun's picking us so i gotta get a hose on them and then we put in i don't know 18 20 asparagus right in here in this garden so i'm very very happy to have at least done something productive in the garden today um one thing i was gonna do and i may hold off to tomorrow i don't know when i'm gonna do it but i've got to get in the house right now i've got meat going bad i gotta cook so i still have all these tomatoes and that was supposed to be the next video mentally for me um but i didn't do it so i gotta clean out this cattle panel and get all those tomatoes tied up into here and i did finally weed whack this whole area um so that was once the the other step holding me back it's done so now i just gotta get the tomatoes in uh maybe next time <laughs> i'm just not feeling it today but but the uh salvador selects paste tomatoes are in if you didn't already see that okay you guys well that's it for today Thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.